fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Hello? Hey, excuse me. <laughs> there you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, then uh, you are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you malot. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help?
Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go <gasps> what is that you can't let this happen you can't let this happen you can't let this happen you can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You. Oh, thank you. That was. horror. Oh, <laughs> 
mine, says the dead man. tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. 
Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Ripping it out rips them apart. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary. 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. 
The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. again, our welcome message. Overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. With you on that. are on the right track. An object of power. Such a place is latched onto it. We need to cleanse it.
It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. <laughs> Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. said that the hotline can be reached through the mail. <sighs> Locked. Maybe there's a key nearby. This must open the door. I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated Alberto by Tomasi, the head of comms. Serious illness affecting the staff. At the hotline Cuba. can't be far now. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar 
This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. The hiss gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? 
It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's singing? It from? Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. The situation's getting worse. I saw Trench and Darling arguing. weeks ago. Trench was furious. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face.
The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? down that way. Oh, this place makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? Carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Keep up with me now.
Hold on. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus, no perkele suora, that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it on. Burn it into a reindeer. Okay. okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's too. Security. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? 
Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling them? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. for some real action. together a little longer.
Robo. More to shift. Fix me in the If the plan goes boom, we can draw the shift. My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is right level. He got him caught with his hand in the fist trap. Like that sound.
come down. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old trick bites inside the shit. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here.
They say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. has asked us to document the his incantation, as she calls it. You mean like in person?
person with a pencil and paper. trying to get us killed. She's in trouble. I need to reach her.
hypothesis was... I can't believe they keep that thing here.
Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. She got that right. More of you? Really? right down the hall. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't wait. I see rangers over there. We have to help them.
This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. Director, it appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need to we need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Fate. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. 
taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Here, this will lead back to Central Research. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help him, including Dylan, once I find him. I'll keep him safe. Like you do with me. must be completed in the specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or? I always did ready, love Ranger. obstacle courses. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. remaining. seconds remaining. Failed. 
All right, Gang Ranger. <sighs> Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. seconds remaining. shield.
think anyone's there, honey. Come on. We'll go to that motel we passed a while back. to find a way to Black Rock Processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism.
Glad to see you're still you. Hey, thanks for bringing down that... whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. But I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. You showed me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? Find Darling's lab. There are areas in the oldest house where, under the right conditions, when the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. Darling's thresholds. This should get us into the quarry. The quarry. Is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's that's where Black Rock comes from. You heard that too, right? Black rock comes from a threshold. The quarry. Everything here is crazy. Weird, but it feels... right. Like how the world should be. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Even with all the world, I'm... happy. It feels safe.
elevator's broken. Gotta get down the old-fashioned way.
not what I expected. me. The HRAs, the prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, then Dylan.
It's ridiculous. Pope's grasping at straws. Why? If hit Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him? We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother... I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. wants us to compile all the notes followed you in right containment sector panopticon Altered items. Maximum security prison.
six is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, if things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director. Right, uh, well, okay, hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. You guys didn't bring, like, checkers or anything, did you? The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan its director. 
Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything.
Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. Okay. with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother.
omitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every vi- No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother? Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA-warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Apparently the director restored HRA production. They're already getting others. Marshall orders us to just sit on our asses and then leaves? What's the deal? She must have her reasons. She's probably out doing some recon. I think she's going to You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please to stop be true. That. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! 
You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it! Orange peel. Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I near worms of tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the keycard to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. You are a worm through time. The thunder's hum distorts you. Happiness comes. White pearls, but yellow and red in the active. Repeat the word, the name of the sound. It resonates in your house. Oh, after the song, for applause, we build you to just nothing remains. The egg cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. You remind us of home. You've taken your boss with your boss. We'll take them all you are. They're endangering us by bringing a hiss in. Trench is still around. Good luck out there. Trench was part of the
Mark Gibson, male, age things had gone differently in ordinary for us but wishing won't change things ordinary finding the projector will coming together in this one case 
a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. Look at the boy. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And... All the things. times I felt paranoid. I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Different. studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. <laughs> I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different one, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this the house and beans? going back home. Of course we are. It started there, and it's... No.
There's got to be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Something's blocking it.
for America overnight. Celebrating. There is a curious correlation. See what they have on ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settled. the whole landfill here in the middle of New York and nobody saw a thing pretty unbelievable
effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department, dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there, that's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next.
contact the sanitary if you need to get through. Broken? How many dead ends can this place have? We need to find Ati. No, Arty. Where is he? Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki Tähti. My assistant will keep work in the glove and the house standing. Lomille lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. Guess I'm about to find out.
Päivällä ja illalla sunnaltaan. Sekunnissa yöllä tuuli väliaikaisesti. Hyvä näkyvyys. Selkämeren pohjoisosa merenkulku. Tai vaihtelevaa tuulta 3-6 metriä sekunnissa. Ja hyvä näkyvyys. Tänään kello 11. Kohta rohti 16 asti. Uutta kutulo. Kohta 15. Selkeää. Yli 20. Helsinki Katajolouto 18. Etelä-Kaatu 4. Kutulo. Yli 20. Kokashan 17, Kaakko 3, Kaakko 7.
Thing up ahead. Do you see it? Did you miss me? Did you have peace in your song? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Park don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. 
it will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys.
projector. The expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. There was a doorway here, to where Dylan and I went, where the projector took us, where we met you. The bureau opened the same door here, but there's just an echo now. Are you close? Just on the other side? not here. Moved again. What did Darling do with it? I've got to find out. Expedition 3, we located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity, a living organism of a considerable mass. I I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, 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 we built a Was that for it. you? Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming.
comes down and there's nothing there it's just the cell and death I was wrong there was never anything there hello Polaris are you there Everyday Americans from foreign threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming, and she should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? Sorry, I'm new here. Are you sure you are not lost? 
Maybe you can oh, find great. yourself. I was just waiting for my mail. Please, take the outgoing mail as well. Thank you. Very good. You better. What? What is happening? I don't like this. No, this isn't me. I'm not me. I can't. Why can't I feel you? Should keep trying. You are getting closer. Where's I need to go thing? inside. I need to keep moving. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. Burrowing in, I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. What am I doing? I'm not your servant. I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. Welcome back. I knew I chose a system. I need my gun. I. The thunder's are a worm root. I. The thunder soul scorch you. I know what I must do. Yellow, red. Start at the beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am. The director. Hello, this is Dr. Casper Darling. 
I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Pedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the Endgame. It will be revealed. You, I can't. This is what Dylan wanted all along. But there is something. I can feel it, but I don't know what. The motel is a place of power, of change, a place to pass through, connecting every. Hedron is dead, but you're alive here in me. Maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her. Maybe you were always there, and she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you. Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the Hiss. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the Hiss. Just like that. With Hedron dead, the Hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. My sister had this dream. Bad dream. Dreaming with her. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down the poster she kept staring at. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. I know he's still there somewhere. Locked inside. I know because that's how it was for me.
Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You... and I.